Hey, it's Patty. So today I'm going to talk about how to set up a email and text video template in LionDesk and um, basically wanting to make sure that you know that you can do video straight out of here without having to get a third-party software. Um, I'm all for saving money. Uh, there are going to be limitations, so you want to make sure that you do have an upgrade in your profile um, and just head over there to subscriptions if you are wanting to send email and text video. I think in the end it's going to be cheaper than having a third-party software. Um, but all right, so before I get started, please take a moment to hit subscribe here on the YouTube channel if that's where you're seeing this. If you are uh, seeing this in Facebook, then you might also want to um, just make sure you get into my uh, free group at Drip Campaign Mastery at Real Estate. Uh, Drip Campaign Mastery for Real Estate Pros. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go through how to set up our first video template. So I'm going to go over to, we are going to be in the marketing tab in LionDesk. Let me actually see if I can get this, just to slide this up a little bit so you can see everything that's going on. We are going to be on the marketing tab right here, and we're going to head over to the template folder, or the template tab. Now when you get here, I would suggest that you add a folder for, if these are going to be templates that you're going to use all the time, it might make sense for you to set up a folder and I went ahead and set up one earlier that was just for um, video video templates which is what I did video folder is pretty much what I did so you can put all your templates in that so if you want to add these video templates into any of your existing campaigns or if you have my campaigns because a lot of you have already purchased my campaigns right in line desk and got a code and dumped them right in you can do that um, so that's good uh, I would definitely plan to do that and you can create a whole bunch of them and then just kind of spread them out through your different campaigns pretty easy so we're going to create an email template by simply clicking on create an email template let me get myself out of the way here <clears throat> and uh, that can move me down here so what we're going to do first is uh, you want to create I like to put a little bit of text in here all the time um, I'm kind of a fan of doing that because some people may not ever click on your video so um, just go ahead and do that and then add in a field and you're going to click hi if it's going to be a template you use for everybody um, just put their first name in here is usually what i would do um, thanks uh, so much for let's just uh, let's see for registering i gotta move back here on my website for homes in Scottsdale, whatever it is. I have a special video message for you about the Scottsdale market. How about you do that? I have a special video message for you <laughs> about the Scottsdale market that you don't want to miss. How about we do that? Don't, gosh, want to miss. These old lady fingers aren't working like they used to. Um, all right, so. I always like to put a little something in here. You just don't want to, like I said, you want to introduce it. Now you're going to space down as far where you want to place the video and I'm going to go ahead and just space twice. Now you're going to see in the email location there's a, bu a button here called video. Okay. Now when you get in here, there is, you can see the library of other videos that I've recorded in the past. Um, they should be here. You are going to note that there's going to be um, folders that you can pick out, so for email only, text only, or any type. So if your video, your video for an email needs to stay under two minutes, your video for a text ideally is to be underneath 15 seconds. You can record the video right here or you can upload one. I would say do everything you can to up record it in here because if you upload one, you might have an issue with size. Even if you think you're under 15 seconds, you're going to have size issues and then you may have to resize them and then who knows how to do that. that I'm not even going there. So just either do, if you are going to do it, do it right here. I'm on a laptop um, with a camera right now as I'm talking to you or you can do it on your phone in the Lion Desk app, okay? And then that would work as well. So you're gonna hit record video. I'm just doing it on my um, computer here. And from here, you're going to um, click on this. Now I am currently on the screen with you, so I cannot actually click this, um, but you're just gonna record it, all right? Once you get it recorded, you're going to get an opportunity to save it, okay? And you'll just save it under, you know, whatever you want to save it. And then when you save it, it'll look like this when it pops in here, okay? 
Now, I want, let's just say I've already recorded. I'm just going to go ahead and show you this one. I actually don't have the slightest clue what this one is saying, and I'm not sure you're going to hear it anyway, because um, I don't think I've got my computer recording on. But this is what it looked like. Um, basically, it just set it up, and this one was only, this was less than 20 seconds, I think. Let's see. This one is running about 15 seconds. I think I was trying to go fast, okay? So that one is gonna go in, and um, if I just put any, so the point here is if I go any, this will work in either an email or a text, so I know that it's short enough, okay? Now, I have recorded it, and I'm gonna click here, and I will be able to just dump it right in. Now, you're gonna see um, whatever I named it, that you're gonna get a code. So in order for you to actually see what it looks like in an email, you're going to need to send it to yourself. And I'm a big fan of that. You're going to want to test everything out on yourself, all right? And then I would just stick that right into that folder that I have for video folder, right? you got to save it because you're going to use it for all of your clients. So if you're going to use a template, make sure that you're not putting anyone's personal name in the template part or the email, or I'm sorry, or the video. You don't want to mention someone specifically. Now you can set you can send specific emails with videos and uh, to your clients. I'm not actually going to show you how to do that in this video. I'm just showing you how to set up a template, and then we'll save the template. Okay. Um, oops, I forgot. We got to get in here. I do this all the time. I want to put in a subject line. So for me, I'm always putting in their first name. So I'll go over here on the subject line and put their first name in. I did that right there. And then I go, um, I might put special video, special video, Scottsdale video message for you, uh, you know, or I could do a special video message um, about Scottsdale market. How about we do that? Because you want to get them to open your mail, right? And then you're going to want to save it. So I would call it uh, video email. For me, I'm always telling myself out at the list so I can find it quicker video email Scottsdale market okay and then um, save the template right now if we want to do a text we're gonna do the same thing okay I'm gonna click over here by the way I have another I always tell people this I have another uh, monitor over here it's a little bit bigger for me to see so that's why I'm looking this way <laughs> all right so now a text same thing goes here we got to keep it short so I'm going to say the same thing. Hi, I'm going to add in their information right here, first name, right? And then um, I will then say, uh, hope you're having a great day. Now, if this is the first time you've ever texted anybody, you want to tell them who you are because there's not going to be any, uh, any you know, kind of history in here. So make sure and tell them who you are, especially in a text. Um, hope you're having a great day. I have a new update on the Scottsdale market for you. I recorded a video to make it easy. Easy to share with you. Okay, check it out. Check it out. Okay, and then I'm going to record the video. Now I can either put the same one in that I did. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to personal videos. Now, assuming the video is short enough, I can put the same video in, okay? And hopefully this is going to work. <laughs> but you're going to basically do the same exact thing um, if, if Line Desk is slow on me here, which is a possibility because I'm on, um, I'm on uh, video with you. It might be giving us an issue. So there's a chance that could be happening. But anyway, when you get here, you're going to basically click on it and or record the same way. Okay, there we go. So if I only want to see all the stuff that was um, video, okay, I should wait until it loads before I start clicking. <laughs> um, so I'll want to make sure that I pick out specifically the video and or record another one. Okay, so you can do something like this for also an open house. Somebody's coming to visit you at an open house. You can do the video recording and then plug it into any of your campaigns, any of the templates that you currently have, or just um, take this particular template and dump it in. So there's the step of recording the video, and then there's the step of recreating the template for it. So you can reuse the videos in different templates. And don't ask me why, but this is, I could sit here all day and I'm not going to. So let's, it might be because I'm on recording and my internet might be giving me a hard time right now. But you get the idea. There's going to be a, um, and there is going to be a code that's going to go in here. So again, in order for you to see, <coughs> excuse me. 
sorry, my allergies are the worst. In order for me to see exactly what it looks like, you're going to want to send it to yourself. We're going to go ahead and save it in that same folder if you want to do that. You could have a separate folder for video emails and video texts, you know. Make sure that you name it, video text. Uh, I like, again, so I edit the, when I'm going to look what I'm doing, test, text, Scottsdale Market, okay. And then you're going to save it in that folder and save it. So for I, I couldn't get it to load, and I just, you get the idea. You're just going to do the exact same thing here and get it loaded in. Now, in order to test it on yourself, you're going to want to go over and make sure you've added yourself in as a lead, okay? And then you can send it to yourself easily through the um, system here. So if I go over to my contacts, then in my contacts, I just found myself in here. Then you can easily just text it to yourself right here and just click text contact. And then you can go over here and pick out the text that you just did, which is right here. And when you click on it, you can load it up and send it to yourself. It's as easy as that. So you can see that I sent a few texts to myself, and it will look like this when it comes through. There'll be a thumbnail. Same thing with an email. You always want to test everything on yourself. So just get it tested, and I think you're going to find it's going to work great. So you can add these into any of your campaigns that you currently have. Um, as many of you know, I provide campaigns already, so you've got a lot of this stuff already um, pre-built and you, then you can start doing a series of whatever videos I mean teaching them how to buy or sell or whatever it is um, if you just want to create a brand new one and send, send to somebody you can just by doing it clicking here and creating a new one right here and um, right here create hi Patty. so I know it's going to my agent or to my consumer named Patty I have a video for you and you want it to be specific for them um, just for them and you want to mention their name then you just do it right in here and you can do it right here and just uh, actually you don't need that just go here and plug in the video right so I'm gonna do it right here plug it in so I would have already recorded it and added it in right so but the, remember this one is specific because I put it's going straight to my consumer uh, so that I can be very specific about that and I might suggest if you're gonna do that that you might hold something up like a piece of paper with the thumbnail because when they get it if it says hi whatever their name is like this case it says Karen but um, you can have it you know um, put a thumbnail because when it shows up there's going to be that thumbnail there like this you see so if you see that and there's this you know that they're going to open it because you're talking to them specifically so it's a kind of a cool little tip all right so hopefully that's helpful for you um, on, on creating your own but do get into your account and make sure that you upgrade if you're really serious about doing this uh, it will save you money in the end if you're using any other kind of tools. Make sure you come into profile and head, head over to subscriptions and make sure you've added in enough so that you can do enough video texting and, and that for whatever it is you're doing. Um, and you've got, I've got different accounts here, so I have credits for different, different accounts, but you get the idea. Just by clicking on here, you can manage your subscriptions. Um, and at any given time, Line Desk will change up what they're charging and pricing, so I'm not going to get into that, but you do have that. And make sure, obviously, you've got your profile set up so everything's ready to go. If you're new to Line Desk, get your signature line in here. Make sure you do, because the last thing you want to do is, you know, not send out letters and people don't know who you are. <laughs> um, I have a new Jumpstart course, so make sure you check that out here on YouTube if you're interested just to get up and running. Um, I also have a digital online training courses and all that stuff. So if you need any more help, you know where to find it. I'm here to help you out. So let's get you set up with campaigns that you don't have to reinvent a wheel on and also um, training so you know how to use the dang thing. You know, set, getting campaigns is one thing, but understanding how to use your tools to not just, you know, send emails, but also to clean up your database and to market correctly and to understand your settings, your tags, your hotness levels, you know, that kind of stuff from an agent point of view. And then, um, then obviously mining your database because when these emails go out, we want to see who's opening them and who's clicking on our stuff. Those people that are engaging with us are going to be our hot business and I want you to know how to look for that stuff. So I go through all of that too. Anyway, you need more help, make sure you subscribe here and I look forward to helping you out in the future. Good luck. Bye.